Mullah Mohammed Omar, the spiritual leader of the Taliban, is dead, according to various officials. It remains unclear how and when he died, but Afghanistan's intelligence agency says he has been dead for at least two years, having died in the spring of 2013. Well, Omar has been extremely elusive ever since his, his disappearance, but he remained the spiritual leader of the Taliban who regrouped after they were forced from power by the U.S. And um, he continued to be the, their spiritual leader, if not the, the day-to-day leader of, of the movement, which uh, reformed and using Pakistan as a base, uh, started to mount a, a quite robust insurgency against the Afghan government and its, and its backers, the United States and its allies. Mullah Omar hasn't been seen publicly since the early months of the U.S.-led invasion in 2001, leading to speculation that he was dead. The Taliban has repeatedly issued statements in his name to dispel those rumors. News of his death raises questions about the leadership of the Taliban, a movement that aligned itself with al-Qaeda. In the absence of Mullah Omar, or without a visible public leader, um, there isn't a, a lot of clear leadership that creates a lot of ambiguity around um, you know, who inspires and who leads the Taliban. And in the absence of uh, Mullah Omar, what's, what's to be done? Is it, uh, so do you, do you rebrand and realign with the Islamic State? Do you continue fighting? Do you seek to talk peace with the government? 